it off high on the right side, sent it towards the goal. And the Eagles tender, who I'm going to call Patrick Waugh, number 33, freezes the puck, will have a faceoff. All right. That's Tommy Austin comes back out. So it's now Tommy between Milo and Justin Kim. Off the draw, puck goes behind the Golden Eagles net. The pressure, Golden Eagles defenseman goes down. Milo picks up the puck center, tries to find Justin in front, and it's deflected by the keeper away from Justin. Milo in the corner again, now sends it in front to Tommy. That's unfortunately off his stick. That was a nice pass by Milo. Away go the Golden Eagles. Try to move to the front, but that's rejected there by Aaron into the corner, and Justin's away. They struggle a little bit to exit the zone. It's sent back in behind the net where Nikita picks it up. He turns, pauses, looks at his options. He goes down. The ice is still a little wet, I think. The players are slipping on both teams. Brought out, sent up to Tommy, but it's sent as he exits the zone, it's sent back in again. And, no, still not out. Now it's lugged up by Nikita to center ice. And they go the other way into the zone. Tommy is there. Aaron is there. It's backhanded towards, but not out. And it's back down in the right corner where Aaron retrieves and sends it up the boards. There's no wing there. Tommy is there to help. Aaron's got it, and here the Bears break out. Aaron skates it up to Tommy on the left wing. No, it's, it's Justin Kim. Bears are on a full change, so Justin's on his own down in the zone. He turns, looks for Quinn Clayman, but his stick was lifted, and away go the Eagles the other way. Four, cuts to the center. Ah, he's nicely separated from the puck there. Good defensive play by Ryan Kuiper. And here, Quinn Clayman's away. One-on-one, -on -one. shot coming wide right. Phil Royal's up to get the puck. And Adams is away, 33. Offside, number 20, Broda is over and we'll have a face-off outside the bear zone. So, a little action end-to-end. -end. I'm not quite sure I'd call it quite fire wagon hockey yet, uh, Tad, but both ch chances for both teams and certainly the Bears have more jump than they did last night. Here goes Carter Leong up the left side, going hard to the net. Comes in on his forehand, that was a nice shot, going top corner. But it, well, well done by the goalie, 33. Good positioning, and he cut that one down. It was a great effort by Carter down the left side, hard to the net. And that one, uh, he had a piece of net top right, and he was trying to put the puck there. Tommy will take the draw to the goalie's right. Carter steps back a little bit for the faceoff. Aaron McGlynn is at the right one. Tommy sends the puck to the corner, picks it up now at the hash as... Carter goes down. That corner is uh, sending all kinds of people down. Tommy's got the puck now. He goes through the goes through the defenseman's legs, but here we go. And he's picked off. There's a roughing penalty as he takes head contact. And I've got my dad calling in on the other line. Hello, Dad. Well, I'm I'm very well, but uh, you've got me on a live streaming broadcast at the moment. So uh, if I And uh, we back live. There's uh, the Bears' best scoring chance of the tournament, I dare say, right there. Shot in from the point, picked up in front, and a backhand on net. Not strong, but right on. Bears' power play looking solid here right now. Nikita sends it down low to Milo. He's met there. Nikita comes down from the point to pick off the puck. He's got it in the skates, but he can't find it, and it's lifted down the ice by the Eagles. Great start to this Bears' power play. Good chances, well, the puck moving well. I dare say that was the second, the second unit, but playing like the first there right now. All right, the Eagles send it back down deep. The Bears are ready to break out. Here we go, Nolan holds it, he brings it up. He sends it up the left side for Milo, but they don't connect, and Tommy dumps it deep. They're offside, so now they need to get back on. Nolan retrieves his stick. 
And unfortunately, there's no one there for the Bears because of the offside situation, so no pressure. Milo picks it up, though. The Bears regroup. It's sent to Tommy on the right wing. He battles for the puck there with three Eagles. They retreat into their own zone with the puck. Happy to do it because they're going to ice the puck right here. And it goes on net, actually. Kyle has to stick the leg out. There's an Eagle player down there. This could be trouble. It goes in front. Kyle does well to cover. And we're going to have a face-off in front of the Bears' net. And now we're going to get a slash on the Bears. That was a uh, retaliation call there, unfortunately. And that is going to go against my boy, Captain Tommy Austin. I think he felt like the uh, Eagles player was taking liberties with the goaltender. I didn't see the slash. I did see him push the player away, but uh, it's two minutes for the Bears. So with uh, 22 seconds remaining on the Eagles penalty, we'll skate uh, five aside until the Eagles are going to have their first power play of the game. Up comes Ryan Kuyper, stick handling across the blue line. It's picked off, though, and here goes a breakaway the other way. Quinn Clayman is coming back to try to cut this off. Oh, the backhand is flicked off the corner there, crossbar and post. That was a nifty play, but happily for the Bears, does not result in a goal. The puck comes out and is sent back down. The Eagles were offside, so they retreat to get back onside and up to the Bears again. Ryan turns away from pressure, goes back behind his net, sends it up the other side, but there's no wing there. Shot comes from the point. Kyle makes the save, dangerous rebound. Phil Royal is up there on the hash. They battle for the puck. Away come the Eagles with it. Pivot, pivot, nice, uh, nice display of skating there by the Eagles. Pinched off by Ryan, separated from the puck, but they come back with it again. Again, a nice bit of skating. Rister towards the net. Kyle sends that one into the corner. Pressure now coming from the Eagles on this, their first power play of the game. Bears are set up in a box to defend this. And they steal the puck. Oh, puck is lifted, though, but sent down the ice. Nice play by, uh, by Nikita there. And he gets off the ice, and the Bears send fresh legs. So Connor is, Carter is in on the four check, but up comes number four. It's like M Yarmio for the Eagles. He sends the puck into Kyle. That's a, an easy cover. Kyle takes care of it, and we'll have a face-off coming up to his left with 34 seconds remaining on the Eagles power play. So another 30 seconds and the Bears will have dodged a bullet. Got a whistle here. At the whistle, a broken stick is removed. That's a Bears stick coming back to the bench. I'm not sure who lost that one. Off the draw, it's Carter wins the draw to the corner and the puck is sent towards the blue line, but not out. They, the pass is off the mark. The Bears trying to stay disciplined in the box. No one gets to it. Now it's wrapped around, though. Carter's going to get to it, and that puck is out. Carter is away. It's 15 seconds left. It's still shorthanded. He's onside. Shot coming. Great shot. Rebound. There's a rebound there for Aaron. Two-second save. And now back the other way go the Eagles. Five seconds remaining on the power play. Shot comes in. Kyle steers it wide right. And Tommy's out of the box. He goes to the ice, and the Bears are full strength. Nice turns and fires because he saw he had Carter, but Pike pass didn't go through. Nolan separates the puck from the man, but it's deflected out, and we'll have a face-off depending on what the linesman saw there, either just inside or just outside the bear zone. The referee is saying inside, so that puck was flipped out without a deflection off a an Eagles player, so we're going to go all the way down. And we'll have a face-off at the dot to Kyle's left. Phil gives some instructions to Justin. And Phil, off the draw, it's sent back to the point where the shot comes in. It wasn't a tough shot, and Kyle steers it wide. Another shot coming. Ooh, that was more like a slap pass. Looked like it might be looking for the winger at the far post, but... He was alertly covered by Nikita there. Justin Kim has the puck at the hash. He may have been tripped there, but no call. Nine works towards the net, but he's turned away by Ryan. Puck comes to 76 right now. Ryan works on, goes to work on him. Comes to the front. Phil separates the man, and here Milo is away. 
Milo Sipth comes to the blue line. Shot goes towards the net. That's easily steered to the corner by 33, the goalie. Milo still has the puck, sends it to the point, but Ryan had backed off because he thought possession would change, so we're back to a Bears regroup. Nicely done to Milo, who dumps it, and he's going to go for a change, I think. Yes, nice play by Milo. Phil on the forecheck, as is Justin. Justin picks the puck off, but the Eagles retain control, and the breakout's up the middle, goes through to Aaron, who sends it back down deep. And there, Roy Liu is in on the forecheck with Justin Kim. Roy sends it back to Nikita at the point. His shot is blocked down, and the Eagles are away. They alertly stay on side. Kyle blockers that one down. Rebound goes wide, and we're up the left side. Out of the zone <coughs> comes Roy, but it's rejected and sent back down. Kyle steers it behind the net where Nikita has it. He sees Roy, nice looked off. The defender, Roy, that's got puck, needs to get out, and it is out. They turn again onside. This is four. He skates well and has good hands. And we're going to get another hooking call. This one's going against the Bears again. That's uh, number four, strong skating. is going to earn the Eagles a power play. And this will be Roy Liu going to the box. So, penalty killing unit for the Bears. Aaron McGlynn's out there with Nolan Kazeel. Looks like Ryan Kuyper. And Carter Leong, I believe, will take the draw. Carter wins the draw to the side, but the Eagles control back to the point. Slap shot coming through traffic. Kyle is there, has got the paddle down. Nolan shakes off a checker. Nice pass by Nolan to Carter right up the middle. That was a beautiful pass but it was well defended by the Eagles too. Carter was just neck and neck with two defenders. Again, nice play by Nolan, rejects it back into the Eagles zone. Carter is there to knock down the attempted breakout pass, and nice job on the Bears penalty kill here right now. Carter takes a hit, but he's still working hard. Carter's definitely got the wheels tonight. In come the Eagles. Three, four in the zone now, wrist shot coming through traffic and Kyle does well again. That shot was right on and did well to pick up that puck and freeze it for a faceoff. Bears go for changes. 118 in Roy Lou's hooking penalty remaining. 243 in the period. No score. All right, second penalty killing unit's gonna have Milo at center with Justin up top and then we've got Aaron and Nikita at the D. Nikita has the puck behind his net. He stumbles and falls, but Milo is there to help him out and does a nice job stick handling away and then sending the puck the length of the ice. Justin Kim is on the aggressive forecheck down there with player number nine. Justin succeeds in getting the puck. Milo's in the zone. Back. Here comes shot. Nice shot by Milo. High over the net, but that was dangerous. Nice shorthanded attempt. And now Justin heads back up ice on the back check. It's in behind the Bears net from the Eagles. They're gonna set it up in the zone. Well played there by Aaron to deflect the puck away. It's back to the point, the left point. Now down behind the net. And around in front, and they score. That's number 13 for the Eagles. It was a nice pass in front. They worked the puck around well. And it was just as the penalty time had expired, so it's gonna be an even strength goal, but it was really set up by uh, by the power play. So, 1.55 remaining, and the Eagles up 1-0 there. You could feel a bit of pressure there. It's too bad. The Bears had a good chance on the shorty for a shorty, and uh, that nice that laser wrist shot from Milo Shook was just over the bar. Captain Tommy Austin out to take the face-off here. 1.55 remaining in the first. Roy is back out at right wing with Quinn Clayman at left. Draw comes back to the Eagles D to start off a battle and neutralize. It's back to the Eagles D again. And Quinn Clayman's up on the aggressive four check, does well to make contact there. Tommy chips it into the zone, but the Eagles are going to come away with it. Up the left side, centering pass, back to the Eagles, centered pass again. There were two men in front. And that was a dangerous play there. 
Bears are lucky to come away with uh, unscathed from that one. It's backhanded, attempted to be backhanded out of the zone, but gloved down by the huge number 39 for the Eagles defender who slaps the puck wide. There's a battle now down in the corner to the left of Kyle. And coming away with it was an Eagle who flicked it towards the front of the net, but Kyle alertly put his trapper down on that. We'll have a face-off coming up to his left. Bears on a full change, so out comes a line of Phil centering Carter and Aaron with Aaron and Nikita on D. So Aaron and Nikita is definitely the, the D partner here. The puck, the face-off's won by the Eagles. A weak shot sent towards the net. Not on. Now there's a, it's another centering attempt from behind the net. The Eagles are showing that they know where Gretzky's office is here. They're going to work. Eagles bring it down the right side, behind the net, circles behind, now in front, where Nikita deflects that away. There was no Eagles player in front to receive that pass. Puck is sent in behind where Aaron meets it, sends it up the hash to Carter, and that's up to Phil, and he's away, up the left side. Phil, and he's got Aaron in the middle. Phil goes towards the net, he sent a pass, it looked like he was trying to put that for a tip for Aaron. The Bears hold it in at the far boards, Phil has the puck on his backhand, but not able to corral it and goes out the other way at neutral ice. It's brought into the zone by the Eagles and sent back out. Phil is there to meet his man. The Eagles send it across to number four, who's shown himself to be a dangerous player here. Dustin Kim, right as the horn goes, goes for the strip, but will end the first period, an entertaining first period, Tad with the Bears down one nothing, but they had their chances, so it's really going to be a matter of finishing the chances for the Bears, and that's uh, part of the story of the first game, really, too. I mean, even though they were looking a little sluggish last, last night, they had their chances, and they uh, they did not finish. So. I like the way they're moving tonight for the James. They really have some skates under them. Looks like they're ready to play. Yep, I do think um, I think a good night's rest uh, at elevation here has helped things, and not to mention the urgency of being down now one game and uh, already in the tournament with only three in the preliminary round. They uh, they need a win today to advance. Uh, yeah. I would well, it's uh, close I would expect game. they're still very much in it after one, and they've had a lot of chances. A couple of shots just going this high and. Um, a couple of really nice passing plays in the offensive zone. I think. Much agree. This has been a uh, much better looking Bears team out here uh, today. I'd like to see uh, a little bit more organization and opportunity in the, uh, the even strength play, the five on five. But on the uh, power play and on the penalty kill, uh, they have looked they have looked pretty good. So, <clears throat> fresh thirteen is on the clock for the start of period number two. I'm looking around at the ice, and so oftentimes um, we're seeing uh, ice in these warmer locations that de de deteriorates quickly, but the ice looks uh, pretty good out here right now. And we'll see what the Bears can get going in the, uh, in the second period. So, <clears throat> Kyle Johnson returning to his net, now to our left. The defensive pair of uh, Ryan and Nolan out to start this uh, period with uh, Tommy between Milo and Justin. The draw, they tie it up, and Milo comes in to pick up that puck. He advances into the zone, fires the wrist shot. It's blocked down by the Eagles defender, and their, cap their captain, number 17, Tanner, is away. That gets rejected, and Ryan is going to skate it up the other side now. Up the left side, he dumps it down into the corner. Ah, but that puck deflects out, and we'll have a face-off coming up. And I see now that uh, player number 17, Tanner, was the young man I uh, had the pregame conversation with. So, understand the Eagles are had uh, tournament experience down in Valencia earlier in the season. Had some success down there. Off the draw, Tommy wins it ahead this time. He's into the zone. He's got Milo. He sends it to Milo. Milo with the shot. That's blocked down again. That was a close quarters. Good play. Be good exchange between Tommy and Milo. Milo being the trigger man. Tommy's got the puck. Now he circles. He's hit and knocked off the puck. Now the Eagles get out to center ice. And here they come. Two guys. Captain Tanner keeps it on side. It's still back to the point. Shot coming in. Off the post. 
Kyle came out to knock that one off, and the Eagles came very close to doubling their advantage. But now it's sent down the ice by, uh, is that Nolan or Milo? I don't know which, and it's uh, at, any length, at any rate, length of the ice. It's an icing call, and we'll have a face-off back to Kyle's left. See, Mark Clayman is in the house now. Thumbs up for Mark. He's enjoying the game much more so than he uh, than appeared to be last evening. Off the faceoff, Bears control, send it towards the blue line, but now it's back to Eagles. There's a man camped out back post, but they couldn't get him the puck happily for the Bears. Shot comes to the point. Kyle gloves that one down, and this time we'll have a faceoff coming up to his right. No traffic in front again, and happily for the Bears. So Kyle could see that one coming all the way from the blue line, and no trouble. Phil will take this draw between Roy and Quinn. Oh, the Aaron pass from Aaron goes to the front of the net. Oh, and again a shot off the post. A very nice passing play. That was reminiscent of the Russian Red Army on that one. Maybe one pass too many. The puck is flipped over the glass and out of play. I wish we could have a replay on that one, but Aaron pass picked off. Very nice passing from the Eagles, but the trigger man could not convert. It was a bit of a fluttering puck, and that may have been the difference. So the Bears dodge a bullet there. And with the puck flipped over the glass, we'll have a face-off just outside the Eagle zone. Tommy comes out to take it. The fan sends the puck back in. Tommy wins it back to Ryan. D to D to Nolan. Flipped up towards Aaron. She's got it in the zone. She'll drive this one deep, I would suggest. Yes, goes behind the net. And Carter Leong is in to pick that up. It goes through him, though, and the Eagles are away. Up to center ice where Aaron picks it off, however. She turns, backhands it over to Nolan alertly, and Nolan is up the left side. He sends it in on net, and we're going to force a face off in the zone. That's an alert play from Nolan. We'll take it. I like the way those two are passing today. The, uh, the, the D pair, you mean? Yeah, Aaron, no, the Aaron uh, Nolan. The Aaron Nolan combination is working well, too. I thought the, this D pair has done a nice job moving the puck as well. That puck off the faceoff is sent outside the zone. Nolan is back on his backhand. He eludes the check. Nice tic-tac-toe play up to Tommy at center ice, but it's deflected away at the blue line. Nolan moves, avoids a hit. Tommy backhands the puck into the zone. And Aaron is in to get there, battling with 18. Tommy is there to take it off the skate, sends it to the front. Carter's there, but it's knocked down by the Eagles and sent the other way. Number four up to center ice. Carter's on the back check. <laughs> Does an excellent job to come back and force four wide. Tommy's on it now, forces the puck out of the zone. Four is unhappy with the attention from the Bears, but that's done the job. Ryan is able to pick up the puck behind his net, takes a look, and off we go. Long pass for Carter is knocked down, or Tommy rather, but Carter picks it up, sends it into the zone, but not deep, and the Eagles will take it the other way. It's a pass up the wide, up the wide side. It gets by Nolan for a moment, but he recovers to take his man to the corner. Tommy's high. It goes to the captain, 17, in the corner. He's played there by Ryan. Eludes the check. Sends a pass to the high slot. Shot coming, blocked down. And Milo is away. He's got Justin on the right wing. He's harassed there. He's, if he can see Justin, he gets a nice shot off. Quick whistle. And we'll have a face-off to the Eagles goalie's right. Milo looking for maybe, uh, felt like he was impeded going to the net. And it is indeed a hooking call against number nine for the Eagles. A little help from my uh, broadcast partner, Tad, there with the hand signal. Thank you, Tad. Always having my back. Off the draw, it's sent to the front. <clears throat> Milo misses it there as he's checked to the ice, and the Eagles lift it to center ice. That was a dangerous play, but it was nice as gloved down. It's a hand pass as it was uh, gloved down by Aaron, and even though he was steamrolled as he did that, since it went off his glove and was picked up by a Bears player, we got a hand pass. I think he needs a fair catch on that. Yeah, that's true. If he'd, uh, if he'd just called uh, for that, it would have been all right. Off the draw, it's won by Phil to Justin, who somewhat inexplicably sends that one down the ice. I think Justin was uh, confused as to what side of the center line he was on. 
and will do it again, but this time further down in the Bears zone. It's Captain Mr. Tanner out to take the draw for the Eagles with Phil on the Bears. And <clears throat> Tanner is going to get caught, tossed for striking early, even though that went to the Bears' advantage. And we'll have Phillips, 13, coming in who wins the draw back to their D to the huge Barry, 39. Swung around to Tanner, 17. He's looking for help. He eludes the check there from Nikita. Tanner working quite effectively against the Bears' D. He's hit there by Nikita, but not separated from the puck, and Tanner continues to handle it. He's worked there by Aaron. Boy, he still has it. Circles to the front. Quite a demonstration of puck handling by Tanner. Now he retreats all the way to his own zone and fires the puck the length of the ice. That is uh, some consummate penalty killing there. And again, we've got slow reaction from the Bears, and this time it's player 13 who's going to skate away. Precious penalty time, power play time from the Bears. And he's still controlling the puck. 13 is in now, actually making uh, an attacking play. Finally, Phil separates his man from the puck. And with 44 seconds left, the Bears have an opportunity to regroup and see what they can do with this power play. Justin Kim puts up the puck, hits Tommy at center ice, deflected down. Tommy Hart on the forecheck with 39. Pins him, but it's 40, picks up the puck, breaks behind his own net. They battle there. And again, the Eagles come away with the puck. Aaron steps up to try to get his man, but it's two on one now for the Eagles. Coming down, shot, and no, ooh, no rebound. No, no rebound from Kyle. Yeah, there was a little bit of a late uh, hit there from Nikita, who is then subsequently decked. And I looks like we may be uh, having a call, or are they just going to let the boys be boys? No, it's going to be Adams on the retaliation. They're both going to go. So that uh, I would say that's uh, that's uh, justice is served, and uh, we'll go now with a four. It'll be a brief four-on-three situation with Nikita in the box. Bears are going to need to send a player off. And there goes Roy Liu. So <clears throat> those are offsetting penalties. So we'll go four. No. Oh, they're going to do it. I see. Might be misconduct. So we go five on four for another 14 seconds. And then they'll be even strength. Puck has cleared down the ice again. The Bears... Power play has really been very ineffective this time around, and that'll do it as there are four seconds left. And Ryan Kuyper is going to pick up the puck in the corner where he turns away from pressure, sends it up to Roy, up to Tommy, hits center ice, makes a nice move. He's across center, sends it out to his wing, but Quinn had come over to help from that wing, so the wing was vacant, and <clears throat> no one there. Oh, there's a chance. Nice save by Kyle. That was a pickoff. Picked off pass, back to the point now. 62 has it, sends it towards the slot. The tip attempt goes wide right. 45 has it, eludes the check from Nolan, sent it to the front, it's bouncing in the slot, and the Bears are just going to clear it down the ice. It is an icing call as it just goes wide. And under the circumstances, not a bad play as the Bears are under some extreme pressure there right now. So, 7.07 remaining second period. Golden Eagles 1, your Bears 0. Full changes. We're back to even strength now. Both teams have uh, five skaters. And one, two, three. Hey, Ryan Kuiper will take his place and will drop the puck. We've got Phil between Carter and Aaron. Draws one to Carter. Tries to backhand it up the boards. Gets out, but not controlled. Ryan is there. It's back to Phil. They're working up the strong side, and they just can't get it through. It's back to Aaron now where they'll regroup. Aaron is the high wing. It goes around to Phil. They're just not able to get a clean breakout. Aaron has it in the corner. He chips it, but it's to number four. The Bears have just got to work on trying to gain some possession in their zone to cleanly get the puck out. Eagles continue to control the Bears zone. This one is going to be held in where Ryan finally 
gets control of the puck and sends it nicely up to Phil, who's across center. Hits Carter as he goes across the blue line. Makes a move. It's into the skates of the Eagles player, who begins the puck, and they break out cleanly. They're two on three. Carter nicely on the forecheck, forces his man from the puck and sends it almost out. Where Ryan finishes, no, Aaron finishes the job. Carter working physically and effectively, but again, the Eagles gain the zone. Turning, sent towards the slot again. They always seem to have a man in the slot. Kyle deflects that one. That was a dangerous chance for number four. Good work from Kyle here in this game so far. Aaron is knocked down and we're gonna get a penalty. And I'm not sure what the call is. Aaron went to the ice. It was a tripping call. I think this should go against the Eagles, but I'm uncertain. Yes. So Aaron goes down, sends a message uh, at, the, uh, at the whistle. And we'll see if the Bears power play can get anything going on this one. This looks like the, uh, the, the top unit now coming out to start the power play with uh, Tommy, Justin, and Milo. Tommy's stick, looks like Tommy's just snapped his stick on the faceoff. He goes to the bench alertly and gets a second stick. He's back on the ice. Milo is away. Sends the puck up to Justin, who controls it with his skates. Justin showing off some of that skating ability there. And it's back to Nikita, though, as the Bears cannot control. Just coming back the strong side again. Nikita's decked to the ice. And Tommy picks it up. He tries to send it to Milo. Not strong enough, but we're going to get a tripping call, and this is going to be a five-on-three for the Bears. And here is a golden opportunity for the Bears to make something happen here with uh, 5.13 remaining in the period. They're going to get a minute and a half of five-on-three hockey, assuming all goes well. And if they can score uh, early... They're going to get some extra power play time. Tommy wins the draw to Milo. Milo speeds up the left side, gains the zone, drops one defender, just breaks his ankles, and with his turns, tees up the slap shot, fires it towards the goalie, which deflected into the netting behind, so we'll have a face-off in the zone. <clears throat> I'm thinking we need to try to move the puck a little bit to uh, see if we can't find some holes in that Golden Eagle goal. Tommy will take the draw to the Golden Eagle goalie's right. This time, the Eagles player gains control. They get it in the corner. They slap it, but Tommy knocks it down. He skates out from the corner to the slot, to the front. Charges right to the net. And I'm guessing the nets come off the moorings. And so we'll get a whistle and do it all over again. Nice strong move from uh, Tommy to the net there. But the Golden Eagles goalie was equal to the task. I think he probably just tried to go straight through and see if he could slip it under. Face off coming. Tommy wins it back to Justin. Nikita comes to pick it up down low. The Bears will try to set it up now. Across to Justin. Nolan gets a shot from the point. Rebound. It's a fairly uh, soft backhander from Milo. And now the Golden Eagles are able to clear it. Down the ice. And Nolan picks it up with 40 seconds remaining in the first penalty. So up to Milo on the right side. That pass unfortunately goes off his stick. The Bears have been plagued with uh, not unclean receptions of passes. Now Phil goes down the right side. He's got a head of steam and he goes around his D-man. Sends, goes around back of the net. Looking, looking, looking. Turns, sees a man. Oh, he had Nolan. Was it Nolan or Milo? That was Milo who had a good looking angle there. Phillips is up now, short-handed. He goes around his man on the backhand, and he goes in and the net's off the moorings. He takes Kyle out on the attempt. It was a nice deke, but he lost the handle at the end and slid into the post, and we'll get changes. <clears throat> Nifty play by 13 going end to end there. Used his speed to beat the D-man, a little uh, head fake, shimmy shake. And went hard to the net, and the Bears uh, dodge one there. Carter Leong's on the ice now. He's out with uh, Quinn and Phil. We've got Aaron and Ryan 
on D. Phil tries to go forward with it, but it's rejected by the Golden Eagles player, and the first penalty comes to an end. So the Bears are unable to capitalize on the five on three. And here we go with uh, 30 seconds of five on four. It goes to Phil in the middle. That's a nice pass, but he's met by captain Mr. Tanner, who strips him of the puck and turns away from the pressure and sends it neatly down into the corner. Unfortunate that the Bears were unable to do anything with that five on three. And now the breakout again is not clean and it goes back down to the Eagles who will be able to kill off the rest of this power play. And they start out fresh <clears throat> across and they were offside there. Number 21 jumped on the three on two and we'll have a face off just outside the Bears zone. You get some uh, expressions of uh, dissatisfaction from the Eagles fans to our right, but the man was, uh, was over and the whistle blew. Tommy comes to take the draw, 3.07 remaining, Bears down one nothing. still. Off the draw, tied up and sent out of the Bears zone. Carter's knocked down, he stays at center ice where he's hoping to get a stretch pass. And 20 has it for the Eagles. And Handled nicely by Aaron. Bears continue to work in the corner. Tommy's working. Oh, no, really. He's got the loose stick, and they're going to get a call. There hasn't been much leeway for, for any kind of loose activity, and Tommy's going to go to the box for the second time. It didn't really look like a hook, I would have to say, but I am the boy's father, so I'm disinclined to uh, believe my own eyes sometimes. Get up the stick was up, and I, I think you got to have responsibility for the stick, and he needs to keep that on the ice where it belongs. Well, it is his second stick. <clears throat> True. Maybe it's a, it could be a balance issue, Ted. So, Captain Tommy's putting his team in a difficult position again here. We'll hope that they can... Um, Again, do a good job. On the kill, they looked at every opportunity to clear the zone there. And it was in between a triangle of Bears players. Strong up the boards, but too strong. And 13 there, retains control. Down in the corner, up to 13 at the hash. Turns away from pressure, back to nine at the point. Carter Leong is there to put pressure. 13 at the hash. He sends it behind to the center. Shot coming, nice save by Kyle. Rebound into the slot, sent back out there by the Bears D, good play. 13 is very good with the puck, sends it to the slot. That time they tried to make sure and Kyle was equal to the task again. Kyle Johnson have a very strong game here for the Bears right now. Keeping them in this game at the moment. All right, they're almost halfway there. 111 remains in the penalty to Tommy Austin. 152 remaining in the period. All right, the Eagles send out a unit now with uh, 50 at center. 13 remains out there. 17 on D is back out. He's a strong player, obviously, for them. We're on the C, and he protects the puck right now from Milo Shook. Sends it down into the corner. Looked like Nikita might get there, but he retreated to the front of the net. Stand guard there. Nolan Kazil is in there. 50 has it in the corner. Bears are in the box. Comes to 50 up front, he sends a puck right into Kyle's crest. He holds onto it for no rebound. And we're down to 48 seconds on the Eagles power play. No changes, we'll do it again. Milo comes to take the draw. And it's one back though to Tanner. D to D, here comes the shot. It's very wide right, Must, might have been tipped. Oh. It is sent out by Justin Kim rather dangerously to the center, but nevertheless out to center ice happily. Nifty move there. Approach, Kyle makes the save. Rebound though, spins back to 33. Shot coming with traffic. Deflected actually by the Bears defenseman. Kyle knocks that one down too. Pucks in the corner where Adams battles with Milo Shook. Sent to the front. Milo is now gonna get called for the slash. No, it's a rough, really. Remarkable, maybe it's not. I th it looked like a slash to me, but the call is going to go against, it might be Nolan Kazil. 
And it is. And the Bears are showing a lack of discipline here right now, which could get them in trouble. Tad, I'm not very happy about the fact that uh, <coughs> the broadcaster's boys are uh, sharing a seat in the box right now. Yeah, we're going to get Tommy back in 17 seconds, all going, we hope, it won't be any shorter than that. Five on three right now for the Golden Eagles. Ten seconds remaining in the power play. Phil knocks that one down. It's Eagles controlling the puck at the right hash. Back to the point. Two, one. The penalty is over. Tommy's back on the ice. And it's five on four, though, still with pressure. Tommy regains the zone. It's tipped away there by Ryan Kuyper. And the Bears have killed off the first one. 13 Phillips has it now behind the net. Ryan is looking at him, 13 circles to the front. You get the sense he'd like to shoot the puck, but he goes back to the point. Now he's got it with room at the hash marks, drives it to the front. Lots of passing here by the Eagles. Control, you get the sense that this team has played together for a while. They've got chemistry and they're really finding each other. 45 has it now, back to 63 at the point. Down low, they're looking back door, they've got it, but the period ends. They did find the back door shot, but the, uh, the shot, rather than going short side, as you might hope for on that back door, went back through the crease. Far side was well wide as the horn went. So, all in all, Tad, the Bears had uh, some pretty good playoff time. There were uh, per, uh, per, uh, rather uh, power play time, and uh, there were some flashes of opportunity. But that was a uh, that was a Golden Eagles uh, period, I'd have to say, on on the whole. And the Bears have done well to uh, not see their margin of uh, their deficit decrease. Yeah, the Bears just can't seem to capitalize on those odd man situations, right? They're really struggling. I think maybe the bigger ice struggling a little be. bit with the speed here at altitude, right? I, it could be, although I must say I'm heartened to, I'm heartened to see that they've got a whole lot more jump. This game is being played with a lot more speed than they were showing on the ice last night. So. Yeah, a lot of good passing, too. They're really finding the head man. They're really getting it up the ice in, in a hurry today. Much better, I'd agree. I, I think the Golden Eagle defense has been equal to the task, and they, there's, it's rare that they get a, they get a man clear. Um, I think... Uh, the uh, proverbial uh, pucks and bodies to the net. Uh, it would be nice to see some traffic to the net and uh, get some shots on and see if we can't uh, get a dirty goal to get back in this thing. Yeah, we're really missing our big man up front, aren't we? It would be, be nice to have Mark back in the lineup. Mark Sobe parked in front of the net would, yeah. uh, would be a welcome sight at this point. We're getting some, um, we're getting some uh, feedback from the uh, broadcast audience here right now. Um, We've got uh, viewers in Oregon uh, reporting that they're you mean we uh, actually enjoying have an the audience. viewing this here. We've got an audience in the uh, the great state of Oregon, the Beaver State. All right. And, uh, Go Oregon. I've got uh, some feed also, some reporting from some viewers all the way down in the sunshine state of Florida uh, joining us today for the broadcast. So right. welcome to viewers, I can say, coast to coast. Yeah, we even have some in the middle. We have some, some folks in Chicago watching today too, so... So we're covering all the uh, time zones. And here we go. The third period's off, and as are the Golden Eagles. Puck down into the Bears zone. It's sent back out, knocked down there, deflected down at center ice. It goes all the way back down behind the Golden Eagles net. They'll turn for a breakout. There's not much pressure from the Bears, so up come the Eagles. Classic breakout to hash and to center. They're at center ice and sent up to Adams there, crosses into the zone, into the slot, deflected there by Ryan Kuyper and sent out of the zone. Nice defensive play. The Eagles regroup, D to D, nice backhand pass there from Tanner. And up they come, they gain the line again. They're sent wide by Nolan. Puck comes to the front where Kyle steers it behind the net. Bears, or the Eagles rather, have it in the corner. They send it to the front, it goes all the way through the crease. 17, Tanner picks it up and got it behind. He's come down low from his point. Extra pressure here from the Eagles right now. And here we go as the power play ends. A weak shot is deflected with a glove by Ryan Kuyper. And the teams are back to even strength. For a moment, for a moment, 
And it appears that a loose stick is again going to cost the Bears a power play. That really, I... Well, all I can say, Tad, is the officiating in this game is uh, categorically different from the officiating in the first game. The, uh, rather tight than loose, it's right? uh, very, very tight in this game here so far tonight. Again, the Eagles' power play and the Bears' penalty kill goes to work. Here's Carter Leung, though, busting right up the middle after he gets a puck out. In, shoots. It's a nice shot. Goes high. It's nice off the... Uh, Eagles goalie's shoulder, and they're going to break it out the other way if Carter will let them. It goes through him, and their two forwards are up, so the Eagles are going to have an odd man chance here. Number four has it wide at the hash, gets it back to nine at the point. Shot coming. It's a weak shot, and it's just deflected wide. It was going wide anyway. Eagles have it behind the net in number four. He sidesteps, gets it to the circle. The shot goes wide. We get the hand in the air again here. This now, this time, the Bears are going to get a chance to even things up. And there it is. I think my sense is, Tad, this is a bit of a makeup call. I think the officials are feeling this game was getting a bit like one sided on the calls. And so I didn't actually see the uh, infraction, but number, number 45 goes to the box for an elbow. And so, as, as we have had for a considerable amount of time in this game, They'll go five aside, four on four skaters with, uh, it's got, got Milo, Nolan, Nikita, and Justin Kim out there right now, but the Eagles control as they have much of the game. Tanner is down deep from his defensive position behind the net. He's working in Gretzky's office now, turning, turning, turning. He comes to the front himself, shoots, and that is perhaps off Kyle's mask and into the mesh behind the net. It was... There's a good chance the clock continues to run for unknown reasons. And I don't know if this might be, this might be a tournament rule where we're behind time because I've, we've seen that happen in tournaments before where we had a delay to the start of this game and I um, believe that we're gonna be run time the rest of the way, which of course does not favor your Bears as they are currently down. Our missed shot at the point, Milo shook his air. He gets around his man momentarily, but it's sent back down by 21 and in on the hard four check for the Eagles. He gets a puck in front. That's dangerous to 17, but the puck goes harmlessly wide. 17 has it on the hash. The Bears pen penalty is over now, so it's a Bears power play, but actually it's the Eagles who are on the attack. Slap shot over wide of the net, back to 21 at the point, still held in. The Bears need, to oh, and it's a deflected shot from the point. And really, after much pressure, the Eagles have scored to take a 2-0 lead. It's a shorthanded goal, so the Bears are going to have still 25 seconds of power play time. But uh, hard to fall Kyle Johnson on that one as that puck was a, a high deflection. And the change of direction handcuffed him, fooled him. And now the Bears are really in a in a pickle with the score at two nothing and it's a running time situation now with 9.14 remaining and the Bears need to get to some heavy work. Yet to score a goal in the tournament and here they go to work with Tommy, Aaron and Carter. Tommy's in on the four check, Carter joins him but they're split by number nine who sends a stretch pass, it's knocked down by Nikita who heads the other way. Nikita's up, he shakes, Carter gets just back, oh, it looked like he was back on, but the linesman disagreed, and uh, we'll have a face-off just outside the zone. Coach Eric disagrees, loudly from the bench, but to no avail, Tommy's in to take the draw. They tie it up, and off the draw, Aaron and 76 is away. Crosses into the zone. He's met there by Nolan Kazil. Tries to deliver the hit. Goes wide, but he keeps his man from doing damage. It's in front. Nice save by Kyle off the blocker when the Eagles player gained control of the puck right in the slot right in front. Dangerous, dangerous opportunity. Kyle Johnson has really kept the Bears in this one, and they owe him a goal here right now. Aaron McGlynn looked to be slew-footed as she went into the boards there. Goes down. Tommy chips it to Aaron. Then he's taken down. He's hit hard. And... Carter's away, it's Bears advantage. Kyle goes to the 
net, or the bench for next to Skater. Tommy remains down on the ice. And he's now coming to his knees. That does not look good. He gains, gains his feet. Coach Eric comes out to help him to the bench. We'll have the Bears back on the back on the power play. I don't know. Is this, yeah, it's it's either an elbow or possibly it's, there are two players on the bench. So I think this is going to go as a head contact. With Tommy went down, it's going to be a two and ten situation with two Eagles players in the box. So the Bears will get a power play. The clock is already running, so the Bears would do well to take this face off as quickly as possible. Tommy's on the bench. He's not looking very comfortable. I'm guessing this went for a head contact, and I'm, of course, concerned about my boy right now. Aaron holds the puck in. It goes down to Justin in the corner. He's waiting for Phil to get open. He sends it to the front, maybe hoping for Phil to get the tip. Milo picks it up at the half boards, down behind to Phil, turns in the corner, looks, looks, looks. He's looking at the point. He sees... Kuiper at the point, but the Eagles gain control and get that one back out. Puck is sent down. Tommy Austin is head up. It's Milo's offside. And it's, the Bears would do well to line up because it's a running clock. Seven minutes remain. And Tad, I have noticed fairly early on, this is a situation in which I think the, uh, the player with the C has been targeted physically in this game right from the outset. And uh, right there, it just got a little uh, out of hand. I didn't. Yeah. So. Out come the Bears. Now this one's picked off by 17. He takes it strong to the front. Waits, waits, waits. Turns Kyle again with the save. Extends out. And 17 was unable to raise the puck when he had quite a bit of mesh. The attempted breakout pass is knocked down. And in they come again. It's flicked away, and boy, the Bears just can get nothing at all going on the power play. It's been an issue much of the season, and it is again. I don't know where that pass was going, as it simply went all the way directly to an Eagles player, and now the Bears are guilty of an icing. And in a very good sign, Tommy Austin has returned to the ice. He's going to take a shift to end this power play, if it is a power play by the time they drop the puck, because the clock continues to run down. Seven seconds on the power play, six, five, four, five, fifty-three remain as the puck is dropped. And here come the Eagles back to full strength. So that uh, that gambit paid off for them as they took Tommy out of commission for a little while and they were able to kill that off. Ah, Quinn Clayman loses his footing, is unable to get out of the zone. The puck goes on net and inexplicably it does not whistle down as an offside and the Eagles are away. Players fly, no hands up, so they continue to play. Now, Puck goes in behind the net to Nikita. He sends it to Quinn Clayman. Backhands it looking for Nolan Kazil coming up from his position. 55, Nolan has a puck. He tried to get it to a rushing Roy Liu, but fanned on it. This time he sends it to the front. Roy is there, shoots, and he just goes wide. Puck comes back in front in the slot. Carter Leong tried to make some space for a player coming from behind, but the player never came. And this time now, the Eagles are offside. Carter's dumped to the ice. And we'll have some changes. 4.45 remaining. 2 nothing Eagles. And the Bears will go to work. Tad, if you're, uh, if you're like me, this game is starting to have a bit of a feel of uh, the, uh, the legendary Pikes Peak Miracle, where in its similar uh, circumstances, the Bears were stuck in a uh, runtime situation and scored two late goals to win that uh, barn burner by one and advance to the championship in Colorado Springs last year with an a goal with uh, just 10 seconds remaining. Here's a shot from Aaron McGlynn, doesn't get through. Phil Royal tries a backhander, it goes wide. As Kyle Johnson remains in the net. It's still f almost four minutes left, so there's still quite a bit of time. And it appears now that the Bears are gonna be in a power play a hole yet again with, I really don't understand the number of calls in this game. Um, and here we go, and this time, 
We're going to get a hit from behind. Yeah, we got so Tad has clearly seen this. It's uh, Connor Carter Leong who uh, really is uh, sort of the master of the uh, two and ten uh, for the uh, for the Bears this year. Perhaps he. Uh, I think it's a payback for the. Uh, it's a makeup for the uh, call on Tommy Austin, perhaps, but. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so the clock will uh, actually not continue to tick down. I'm not sure why there. Maybe they got to the point where they felt like they could not, they did not need to run the clock anymore. So we get a merciful pause. But uh, the Bears are going to need to do something shorthanded. Milo Shook is out there, and that's a good choice for shorthanded. That's a nice try by the Eagles captain, 17. But again, a nice pad save from Kyle. There's a shot through traffic that Kyle rejects. And Nolan Kazeel is there to send that puck up the boards, but not out. It comes to the blue line. Justin Kim is there, but the Eagles retain the zone. 21 behind the net, sends it in front, looking for a skate there, I think. It goes straight through, though. 45 has it. Ooh, he just put it through Milo. Puck's in front. Nice job there by, uh, by Nikita to lock up his man in front. We've got two bears in the corner there. It's deflected out. Oh, that was a nice play by Milo. Loses a stick, though, on the attempt. Don't go get your stick, son. Get back in defense. And the shot blocked in front by Nikita. 50 turns away from pressure. 21 holds it in. 2.35 now on the clock. Ticking down. 56 seconds in the penalty. Shot coming. Wrist shot. And Kyle calmly gloves that down. Kyle Johnson has had a tremendous game here tonight. 2.21 remaining. And the Bears, uh, the Bears need a little mile-high magic here. Off the draw, Eagles control at the point, at the left point, goes to the right point. Stick handle, stick handle, stick handle, drops down, shot coming, deflected high. Kyle does very well, playing like a shortstop to, glab, to grab that one as it dropped in towards his crease. But the clock continues to tick down, and it's really more the clock than anything that's the, uh, the Bears' enemy here right now. Tommy off the faceoff, tries to block. And there, the puck is out. This is going to be cleared down, and the Bears better go hard for a check here. Here comes Phil Royal and Tommy. Tommy staying high. Phil goes low. And they now exchange places. Tommy goes low. He picks off the puck, and he's got control. He goes to the corner. He's got Phil, who's got Quinn in front. Oh, and they just quite can't quite connect. It was a good opportunity to try to to half the deficit. Aaron takes that one off the uh, ankle. That's going to leave a mark. But the Bears continue to try to work it with nigh on a minute remaining. Tommy gets a puck, backhands it up to Phil. That's a nice pass, and Phil is away. Someone needs to go to the front of the net. Phil takes a nice pass to himself, but is unable to get control. The Eagles calmly gain the puck and up to center ice and across and into the zone 13. Looked like Tanner might have gone offside there, but no call. They circle the net, circle, circle, circle. Clock down to 45 seconds, gain control. 62 jumps up to the top of the circle, fires. Kyle grabs it calmly. And alas, it's really the clock that's uh, dooming the Bears here right now because it's 34 seconds and counting. And there is simply not enough time running clock or not here for the Bears to equalize. So off the draw, it is a shot from the point. Phil blocks it, attempts to get away. Worked with Roy on the boards. We're counting down from 10 now. Seven, six, it's out in front for 45, trying to gain control, two, one. And that'll do it here from Cottonwood Heights. Parks and Recreation Service Arena in the outskirts of Salt Lake City today. Final score, Salt Lake City, Golden Eagles 2, your Oakland Bears 0. So the Bears remain, uh, remain scoreless for the tournament, sadly, and uh, are not really going to be in prime position to play uh, to advance to the, uh, to the championship round. Golden Eagles fans begin to file out. They're uh, happy. Their team is 2-0, and so they're headed for a, a meeting in the championship or at least a favorable semifinal position. Traditional uh, handshake. 
And the captain's uh, shaking hands. Tommy is looking uh, 